Every town has a heart, the one place where everybody goes, where everybody meets. In our area, that place is the intersection of State and Broad Streets. In years gone by, downtown Trenton State and Broad Streets was one place everyone can recall with some romantic retrospection. It was at State and Broad that you may have met your buddies before painting the town red. Maybe it was where you promised to meet your boyfriend before that all-important date at one of the local movie theaters. One thing is for sure, almost everyone in this area has said, I'll meet you at State and Broad. In the early days, State and Broad Street played host to the Trenton's Farmer's Market, and later was where you found Yard's Department Store. State and Broad really was the center of downtown, the place to shop, to do your business, to pay your bills, and it was where you found the important institutions of Trenton. On the northeast corner was City Hall, the northwest corner, the Trenton Monitor, and the southwest corner was home to the Daily State Gazette, a local newspaper until 1942. Some people even recall fondly a stop at Needix for their famous orange soda on that same corner. The intersection played an all-important role in the life of early Trenton residents because it was the one place that seemed to offer a gateway to everything that was Trenton. In recent years, young and old alike flocked to the movie theaters or during the 1900s to the Taylor Opera House. You surely must recall your first Christmas visit to Trenton and the ever-present Christmas lights and decorations. Strolls along the street at night always included a pass along State and Broad, and in the most horrendous weather, some people could even be found taking a different type of stroll. Boy, the sense of humor in Trenton during a snowstorm. Every mode of transportation had made a point of getting to State and Broad, and if you chose to take a trolley into town, you most certainly had to navigate the Grand Junction at State and Broad. Or you might recall that this was the most popular downtown bus stop and in later years, you were probably forced to negotiate the traffic, and some of us might even recall cruising the Strip, which included State and Broad.